on, let's go back. Makes me four. I was a little nervous that I wasn't uh, up to snuff with what he would expect from us. Um, but I was, I was also really excited to get to work with uh, one of the best trumpet soloists like in, in, in the area. Um, so I was, you know, uh, a little scared, but really looking forward to playing with him. Yeah, cool. Dig it. Now, one other thing. Anytime you have a note that's more than two beats, we need to put some kind of little crescendo on it. Okay, so. I've been really, I guess I could say, a fan or an admirer of Thomas for a while. I think, um, as a player, his, he's, he's really creative and he's very energetic. I come from a musical family from, from you know, two, age of two. It was like, hey, come upstairs, here's the tuba, put your, you know, here's how you put your mouth on her. Here's the saxophone, you know. Here, you put your fingers here. And David has the lion's share of the responsibility in terms of prepping the band so that I can kind of come in and, and fine tune it. There's an old story about um, a, a great tenor player going to a, from one of the old, old bands, going to do a clinic at a high school, and the band director has, has them play. And he says, well, you know, do you have any advice for the band? And he says, uh, yeah, play better. <laughs> you know, which is kind of the, that's exactly what you want to say to them. It's like, well, where do you start? You know, so you have to start to sort of break it down from, from scratch. He has a polite and um, a supportive and caring way, of, but also being really direct. And I mean, I, I respect and appreciate it. And I, to be honest with you, I think the kids appreciate that. Okay, so there's like, so there's a whole lot of stuff that's not happening right there. Um, uh, and I, I don't know if it's just we don't know our parts, you know, if, you know, we're still like reading it and stuff, but um, there's a certain amount of inaccuracy that, that's happening. Um, you know if it's you. <laughs> uh, so, you know, ch check that out when you're practicing. Okay. Don't, 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 you know, be, you can be aggressive with the time. Be, you know, be aggressive with the time. Um, you're, I feel like it's maybe just a little bit uh, too laid back. Um, it, it needs to be, in, it needs you need to think of it like, like the drummer. It's here, right? Yeah, it just stays B major seven there? Okay, that's what I want, B flat. Every adult and professional that works with us gives you a new perspective on how to play your instrument. When you are told something, you always like to have a little reason behind it. And I, I guess he gave me a reason not to like just look at my music. He gave me a reason to kind of listen around me and what's happening. A program like this is helpful to me because I, it, uh, I'm forced to sort of think about putting into, not layman's terms, but simplifying you know, how I think about music or how, how we think about music as, as musicians. It's very tightly voiced, right? So, and it's very tart sounding, so it's gotta be really, really, really in tune. Otherwise, it's, it sounds funny. Because they're we very close together. Right? Stand in front of the band and talk to them about, you know, some of the subtleties of the music, I think that, is, that sort of speaks to the growth of, of the musical concept. I was pleasantly surprised with how much better we got from Thomas's advice. I think it really helped and we got to make a lot of progress in a short amount of time. Has this experience changed you in any way? Uh, well, we've done this, yes, I'm a changed man. <laughs> no, I really like, we've done this once before and I really, twice? Twice before, yeah. Twice before and just getting the opportunity to play with someone like Thomas Marriott, it's like, Amazing. Why are you in the band? Why I'm in the band? Because I enjoy jazz music and I love playing jazz and we have a fun program at our school. So it's... What is it about jazz versus other types of music? Thank you. Well, I guess it's the, the complexity. I guess it's more like popular music is kind of, I guess you'd say lame, you know? <laughs> in the sense that there's not much going on. There's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of energy, you know? It's high energy, so it's good. Are they ready, Thomas? Yeah. Yeah. They sound good.
it's actually kind of fun to have a CD where you can like, oh yeah, that's me, you know, eh, no big deal, but you know, it's kind of cool to be on a CD because not many people get that opportunity in their lifetime, but you know, 